everybody! I've got a 30-minute soul journey session. I'm going to be connecting with Mother God today. So the goals of the session are brief, so I'll just read them real quick and then get started. Alright, so it says, Can you channel Mother God for me today? My one and only mother, tell me anything you would like me to hear. Abby, don't do energy work on me. Just go straight to her and we will see what comes up. <laughs> okay, give me just a moment here. I want to just absorb in these goals. My one and only mother, tell me anything you you like me to hear. Okay. Mother God. Boy, this goes deep, man. I'm all like excited here and it's like going way deep right now. <laughs> I'm just going way deep right now. Man, Mother God is like super expanded. <laughs> super expansive. All right, I'm going to relax. See what comes. So... I'm going to continue to relax my energy field on down. This Mother God energy is really intense. Really deep. It's like a library of its own kind and it's a universe. Like you'll never you'll never find the end or the beginning. Like you'll never find what is above or below. It's like it's forever. It's forever and ever and ever, and it's it's just, it's like a glorious meaning. There's a reason why I'm meant to see her in this way today for you. It's like, it's like she wants you to be a part of this all energy. And maybe there's a part of you too that is longing to feel more of this. Because, I mean, it's just like so, so, it's like pure, rosy, soft. It's delicate, it's kind, it's understanding. I mean, it's all the best sides of love. I guarantee you, you could find anything you want to find in here, but she's really expressing all the most beautiful, most flawless sides of love that we all long for. And um, welcoming you to heal in, in that all of hers in that super mother love. Okay, so so this is so I'm actually there's something here about bringing your energy and allowing it to be connected in a part of her own. So there's a little bit of movement going on here about this. It's very positive. Just a second here. It's like a preparation. I really feel like you were wanting this all along deep down inside. You were wanting her to want you in a way that is so absolutely welcoming you, like bringing you to her heart, straight into the core of her heart, allowing you to be deeply in communion or in connection, like just on a level that you've never been able to experience it before. And it does, it feels like a preparation energy. Mm. Everything is peaceful now. She shows me a new image. This is a bit different. Um, so it's a beautiful garden, okay? And the green colors are not, they're like a lighter green. They're not dark hunter greens. Um, more lighter green colors and yellow and pink, different colored flowers. And, um, but it's, it's like the sky is fallen kind of thing. I mean, you can't stand up fully. Like there's, um, the sky, it, it's like, it, there it is. You have to fit into this space. So you're kind of crouched down and hunched and you can't like um, stand up fully. And this is not comfortable, right? This is not enough, right? But she shows me you and your accepting of it feeling like this or being like this and wondering what you could do in order to be more adaptive to a place of this kind. You even show me, um, she reveals to me you turning into a caterpillar. 
and becoming very small so this is like in a, like the perfect environment for a caterpillar to be happy and there's something important about this message it has to do with change and transformation everything is just reviewing this, looking at this, seeing this and it's just staying like this it's not getting any better it's not getting any worse but if the caterpillar is at peace then what is new? and what will ever become new? so you could stand in this place and say hmm if I become a caterpillar this is the perfect place for me now you become a caterpillar and this is the perfect place for you now what? nothing changes it always stays the same now but you aren't just a caterpillar you aren't just a person you're, you're everything and you have more power it's like um, you can command the sky itself kind of thing like um, why are you bowing to the sky when you can tell the sky to to expand to give you more room like you can you can stand your ground to the sky and say no but you would prefer to just become adaptive and now you're a caterpillar there's something about perhaps it's easier for you to be a caterpillar than for you to say no to the sky for you to stand your ground against it for you to demand that it be the way it's not like um, there's something about the flexibility here so you're cool with it like life isn't always going to be what you want it to be so I'll just become adaptive but something has to change with that type of mentality it's almost like no you aren't going to become adaptive um, as in you don't you don't bow to the sky you don't become the caterpillar because that just lets the sky then do what what the sky wants to do you need to say no to the sky because it's the sky that needs to change it's not you you need to stop doing that it's like she's telling you that this it's the sky that needs to change it's not you the sky then is out of balance you're not the one out of balance but yet you're saying I'll just let the sky be out of balance but I'll just become adaptive and now I'm a caterpillar and everything's fine but that's still out of balance there's still disharmony here and it's choosing to be in a state of illusion because it is peaceful to be a caterpillar in this world it is perfect but nothing is ever going to be different now but you're not realizing that what manifested this in the first place was was something that you need to do differently you need to say no to the sky you need to tell the sky that it is out of balance she really wants to see you sort of like standing your ground owning your identity from here forward you don't become the flexible one you stand your ground and now it's the others that need to find themselves something of this kind I mean it's really about boldness so it's a message too about love because I can feel that beautiful love but sometimes love has to be a little bit tougher than that because her love has to be tough too sometimes so she could be an island for you she could be an island where you could go and that you could um, have salvation there but that island is not teaching you how to stop becoming the caterpillar um, it's like she has to use her love in other ways to help you see who you are see your power 
see what you are doing that doesn't work for your life path anymore. And so that can be a little bit tougher, but it's good. It's good love. It's tough love. It's good love. But it really isn't that tough, now is it? It's just if you're used to being flexible and turning into a caterpillar, um, then it's going to be a little bit tougher to figure out how in the world am I going to tell the sky to um, to stop falling. <laughs> you know, it seems like an impossible task to tell the sky what to do. But she is saying that that is your calling. <laughs> and you need to, it's, it's like she wants you to think about this. She wants to see yourself doing this even visualizing daydreaming your of yourself doing this this kid the i feel um the energy is getting a little bit tougher although they're absolutely entirely connected to that one beautiful love it's just like um it's the way we always wanted love to be but if we stay in that love then nothing will ever change we'll just become the flexible caterpillar and then that's great but that's 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 as far as you're ever gonna go but you're meant to go further and so her love is going to teach you things in order to help you and it's like um, standing your own ground or um, empowerment it's, it's something of this nature all right so it was getting a little bit tighter like a little bit more intense but everything is going like very still and muted and it's just like a waiting a moment of waiting <laughs> okay just a second <laughs> like a... I can tell that you're digesting this information <laughs> so it's like you're digesting it so it just like it just influences me just a second because it's literally like she's helping you to break a shell through seeing this it's helping you to grow because caterpillars just don't stay caterpillars they become butterflies all right there's a new message something new here just a second let's see what it she hasn't shown me it just yet I could just tell everything's black right now there's something to it subtleness the subtle the subtleness because I'm in this black but it's like um, the message is about subtleness it's not about articulate specific direct it's about subtleness it's subtle it's supple it's but it's not loud it's not um chaotic it's it's like a gentle but it does it isn't gentle it's a subtle awareness <sighs> she shows me another picture this is someone sitting at a table it's sort of like an outdoor cafe and they're having a cigarette but it's very peaceful and the smoke that comes from the end of the cigarette is sort of um, creates a dance in a way and it is subtle in what it is communicating it's not about is smoking bad or good it's, it's literally about the moment of the relaxation the peacefulness the choice it's it's like um, allowing yourself to be taken into an experience even if it's a subtle one there's a dancing of the smoke and the twinkling of the stars and the gentleness of this cafe in this moment but yet there's so much information here so much information and yet it's all subtle it's all very subtle but yet I mean she shows me that dancing in the smoke are lifetimes um, of like a tribal interaction like like interactions with smoke interactions with fire working with fire in spiritual ways working with fire and cooking working with fire um, there's all this information just coming out of the cigarette and why the choice of the cigarette in the first place um, and the energy of the stars and what are the stars singing tonight and where is their light coming from and how is that light affecting you and it's all this information but yet it's 
it's just a subtle moment. It's like one little moment, but yet it is everything. It is everything. There's something very important about this message. Hmm. Winding down. Things are relaxing even more, even more than this relaxing cafe and this c cigarette. And it's like a perfect night. That's what it feels like, a perfect night. But it's relaxing even more now. It's deeper. It's more felt. And it's not felt physically, it's felt spiritually. And it is felt in very specific chakra bodies, like in the heart, solar plexus, sacral chakra, um, and the root. It's like felt in these chakras. Like I can, I can feel this vibration and it's deep. It's a deep meditation with these chakras. All chakras are all, always involved in everything, but the, this it's like very prominently loud, these ones. And it's like, it's rooting you, it's rooting you. Because I, I see an image of a man who is sitting, like lotus position, and um, these chakras are like growing um, roots through you into the ground, and it's like rooting you into the ground. It's, I feel that, I feel rooted way more than I, I feel anything having to do with the mind or communication or um, this stuff is just like chilling out right now. It's all about this uh, sort of the love and the feelings and the sexual energy, the, um, the pleasure of living um, and this groundedness that we are part of earth, that we are rooted into the earth. Like this is something about you and your body and your connection with the planet and really rooting yourself in and feeling that, feeling it not thinking it, feeling it. And uh, so she's also doing this. She's helping you with this rooting of your energy. You need to be, it's like she's showing me a need to be even more in your body than you've ever been. something having to do with it's going to help you see it's going to help you see more when you're in your body more deeply more deeply rooted in your body embracing your body embracing the form that you chose in order to have this earth experience it's very precious it's kind of coming back to the sacredness. The sacredness of the body and how we work with that sacred energy. Is it a mind thing or is it deeper than that? I mean, there's something about this image of Dorothy that it's like we're giving ourselves away and we think it's funny. And and there's no dis disapprove there's no nothing disagreeable or disapproving of that because that's part of the challenge as part of being human as part of but there's it's like to show you something deeper and how deep can you go? And what what gives you access to that depth? And what is nur how are you nurturing your sacredness, your sacred body? <sighs> and honoring it. Okay. Everything's very relaxed right now, so I'm just waiting for a moment. I do keep feeling the experience of smoke um, coming out of my mouth. 
I'm just expressing smoke out of my mouth. And it's not necessarily, it's, it, uh, it, but it, there's a peace pipe type energy to it, like it, it brings a peaceful sensation. And everything is just slowing way down. Slowing way down. She's taking me to a tree. It's, uh, it's difficult to say because I first saw it quite large and now suddenly it's, it's not as large as I thought. It has a very short trunk and lots and lots and lots and lots of branches, like ridiculous, like, um, ridiculously thick when it comes to the branches. Like a million branches and a really short trunk. That's not very wide. And it is hard to figure out how to work your way through this. It's so thick. Um, it's interesting because it's almost like each one of these branches is a pathway and it's hard to decide which pathway to take because there's so many. <laughs> and there's actually kind of an excitedness to trying some of these out and not really sure where it's going to take you. But knowing you can't pick all the pathways, you can only choose one. I mean, you, you're just a human being. You can only be one person. There's just so many. And um, she shows me you looking through, like you're actually kind of moving branches around because it's very easy to access the branches because the tree's so short. Um, but you're kind of looking through them and they're just like so thick, you can't even move them really out of the way. But you see a pathway or a branch is way, way up there at the top. And how are you going to get up there unless you become a bird, you know? This tree is not necessarily meant for climbing. You have to, you have to approach in a different way. Give me a minute here. There's a deep thought about how you could access that branch without becoming anything else but what you already are. How could you access it just by being you? What skills, what tools have you gathered along the pathway of your life? And now how can you use yourself and all that life has developed you into being in order to access that pathway, that branch way up there? You say, I must become the tree. You, you say that. Because you realize you're not just a human, not just a man, you're spirit. And it's okay, it's like um, knowing that you can let go of being human to become energy, to step into this tree. Now it's not just one pathway, it's all the pathways. But this is interesting because you become the tree and you you actually uh, are guided up to this branch. You can feel it. You know where it's located because you're part of this tree. You're part of all the branches now. And you kind of guide your consciousness or your energy to the one branch. And then it's like you just want to be that pathway, just that pathway. You don't need to be all of them because you want to return to being human again. And the human then must walk the pathway because it's not for a spirit to walk the pathway. The spirit is a part of all the pathways already. It's for the human to make a choice to choose a pathway and then to walk that pathway and see how that pathway molds and shapes the human. I see you just little tiny, like a little tiny little thing, just sitting on this branch. <laughs> You're like a little, tiny little fairy person without the wings. <laughs> and you feel a bit sad. Like you're starting to realize why you chose this branch. 
and it wasn't for the bliss of it it was for reconciling certain energies and for the challenge of it and she watches over you through your trek upon this very unique branch sometimes I see this little person of you just it's like not knowing where to go next and kind of arms thrown into the air and feeling a bit helpless but there always is a way that comes to you and you keep moving through life because life keeps moving with you right you can't stop time here you have to keep moving forward no matter how bad you want to just freeze time and take a vacation from life life has to keep moving and you will keep moving with it Hmm. Part, this part of you wonders if it would have been better to be the tree. <laughs> so there's some um, challenges um, that make it sort of a longing to be in that, um, be in the oneness, you could say, be in the source energy kind of thing, and the hardship of the incarnate journey, journey you know and so your mind wanders about it just wandering and visualizing yourself as the tree that is the oneness and why did you choose this branch again <laughs> and I see her sort of touching your heart and touching your mind at different times to give you the courage to keep moving through each and every day but to make some of these days blissful like that you can really feel them I mean I see there's sort of like a volume that gets turned up at points where you just feel loved you feel absolutely loved and it's so blissful I mean the spirit realm is just like a it's so full of love So this image is just sort of circulating right now. Let's see if she ha what what else she would like to say. <clears throat> hmm. It's sort of like um the balance of everything we've been exploring here all the different sites we've seen along the way and all the different ways these uh, images and these messages have created certain feelings it's like this library of mother god that is the incarnate human journey that is felt that is discovered that is challenged that it must learn how to be bolder that wants the oneness but must continue forward only to feel loved along the way I mean it's just like it's like it is mother god like all of this is mother god all of this is the infinite library and this is like your mother god story as you you are living a mother god story as your as you being you that's why you're so precious it, it's it's I, if you could feel the meaning of this i mean it moves my heart it makes me feel like this depth that it comes with the color purple like a really deep purple it's like something goes I get it inside myself in a way that I always knew but never felt it like this before 
um, it's interesting because it feels like hugs, like um, like receiving hugs, like an open door, and it's not you that is here to try to hug everybody, to help heal everybody, but now they come in and they hug you. I just see this scene with a circular room and one door, um, and all these people now come in and they hug you and you don't hug them like you've done enough hugging in order to help others feel better kind of thing like they're gonna hug you they're gonna take care of you and um, this flavor of being nurtured and cared for is so precious and so meaningful to your heart and soul to feel loved to feel cared for, to be feel understood, to feel guided. And I see all these beautiful beings um, turning to light and that light then merges within you and you feel the light inside of yourself and all the parts of that light, <laughs> which is source, which is mother God, which is everything inside you, birthed inside yourself. It always was there. It's just like um, an attunement um, to the awareness of it on a new level. Again, it's like um, she really wants you to feel her, you to feel that connection with her and in a way that is, um, has grown, is a growth from how you've been able to feel it before. She shows me that it's like life will have its hard times, like um, the sky has fallen, <laughs> and how do we face this situation? And sometimes those hard times can be dragged out a little too long, but you'll find that it's really the upgrade, um, being able to feel love on a new level, to be able to love yourself on a new level, that this journey is all about is a discovery of love and it's a discovery then of her love but it's her love that is already the story of your life <laughs> it's it's born within you it's amazing it's really really special I'm just gonna linger in this final message because there's lots of energy here it's just like pure love, pure, pure love. Mm. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> this was really wonderful, really special. <sighs> Thank you for this beautiful experience and for sharing this with others. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. All right, and for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.